Developing news we've been following all day. An arrest has been made in the brutal assault of a driver at the X last month by a group of illegal dirt bike riders. City leaders are now speaking out, pushing to take all these illegal riders off the streets. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane live for us in Springfield now with the details. Lindsay. Chris and Jordan, 23-year-old Juan Rodriguez Manier of Holyoke was arrested this morning on several charges. The victim, 38-year-old Sean Sullivan, has been in critical condition for almost the last month. I am uh, very happy. Uh, that an arrest has been made. 23-year-old Juan Rodriguez Manier of Holyoke is now in police custody, charged with assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and armed assault to murder in connection with a brutal attack on a driver at the X in Springfield on July 5th. The victim, 38-year-old Sean Sullivan, has been in critical condition for almost a month, suffering from head trauma. Springfield Police tell Western Mass News a group of illegal dirt bike riders were driving down the intersection of Sumner and Belmont Avenues, cutting off Sullivan's car. His vehicle then collided with a dirt bike. Police say Sullivan got out of his car and was assaulted. This shows what can happen, unfortunately, when you're doing illegal activities of dirt biking. And it shows when people are just completely uncivil. Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno tells Western Mass News there's no room for these riders in the city. We're not going to tolerate it. We're going to continue with our special patrols. We're going to continue with our eye in the sky, state pol utilizing our state police uh, helicopter. We're going to continue to confiscate uh, these bikes. Another idea is still in the works. State Representative and City Councilor Orlando Ramos's proposed gas ban ordinance remains on the table. If passed, illegal riders wouldn't be allowed to buy gas in the city. We want to make it as difficult as possible for these dirt bikers to get on the road in the first place. The proposal has been controversial among council members and some local gas station owners. But Ramos says more action needs to be taken to get these bikers off the roads. They're dangerous. They're putting people's lives at risk. They're putting their own lives at risk. And we don't want anything like this to ever happen again. The suspect is expected to be arraigned in Holyoke District Court. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.